Dana and I'm 36 and I have a four year old. I've been doing CrossFit since June 6th of 2016, so I guess about nine months. My neighbor suggested I should go to CrossFit with her. She said, I'm going back to CrossFit, you should come with me. And I believe that was a Saturday, and by Monday I'd started CrossFit, and by Monday night I was in love with CrossFit. So, accidental CrossFitter. If I feel better, I feel strong, I feel competent, I feel just capable. I didn't go into this thinking I was gonna make some big life change, and you know, here I sit, almost 50 pounds lighter from when I started, and you know, that wasn't my goal going into this. I just needed to find a way to be active and get moving again. And it was a big profound thing that happened last night, carrying the dumbbells, doing lunges. You know, you're carrying 40 pounds doing walking lunges and you realize, I used to carry this amount with me every day. And then some. I didn't think I wanted to do this video or this interview because of where I'm at, but I also now can't wait to see this looking back a year from now. A big part of falling in love with CrossFit is that it became a priority and I started making my schedule fit around getting my workouts in. I think the best thing about I Love It is that it is a community, it is a family, it's the most comfortable place I've ever been as far as uh, working out or any gym or anything like that. It's, there's so much encouragement, there's so much camaraderie here, you know, everyone is cheering for everyone. Learning not to quit is a big part of the mental game. When you think you don't have a little or anything left in you and you have coaches and I don't know if you call them classmates or other CrossFitters are yelling at you, one more rep or push 10 more seconds or do this one more time and you dig deep and you find it and you get a little bit more mentally strong every day. I want to go back every single day because of how I feel when I'm here. <laughs>